afternoon and evenings for you. CPA to kick off to Lipscomb Academy, and we are about to be underway for Championship Thursday. Let's get it going. Opening kickoff, return just past the 20 yard line, and that's where we will see the Mustangs come out. 15 for 297, and not giving the ball to the opponent is key for this Lipscomb offense, only three interceptions. You saw Junior Sherrill on the opening kick. The talented front for CPA. Brady Smith, Reed Madden already called their name today. Quick move to the outside, quick throw. And there's the first down pickup for the Mustangs. Able to pick up some nice yardage on first down. Another first down pickup, this time on the ground for the Mustangs. Brown going out to his left, delivers that pass on the money. And lips go. One team 15 yards on this, but you both get one. Brown. Throws the flat. They'll gain a couple there as they go. Knocking on the door for scoring potential. Cheryl makes his way in. Back to him. And to the end zone. Mustangs on the board first in 2022 at the Blue Cross Bowl. Moving the sticks. Brown across the middle, back to him. The, the multiple numbers up is going to get me repeatedly. Cheryl to the 20, 15, and out of bounds on the final play of quarter number one. So when we're supporting these young people, we're also supporting their families, getting out and doing healthy activities. You and your husband both being graduates of LSU, you know all about high school football, don't you? Welcome to the broadcast, and we hope to talk to you later in the week again. Thank you so much. Back upstairs. First down pass attempt by Streeter. Complete spin move and into Lipscomb Academy territory goes CPA and a nose. Zero or the three technique. Nice, nice sliding grab. This is uh, a great possession for CP. Good against Oakland, good against Lausanne. Here's the direct snap to Law. Then he goes handoff. And again, now they're getting within their offense, Chad. Hank Brown, the senior quarterback. Looks across the middle, sets his feet. Wide open receiver, passes on the money. And there's another explosive play that came into the game, Chad, with 76 plays on the season for 20 plus. And this one puts them into CPA territory. Got a flag down. See Vanderbilt. At uh, uh, this day and age, like everyone's got an offer from everyone. Yep. Cheryl. Pushing past the goal line, touchdown, touchdown Mustangs. What effort from the power five passionate human beings that we've ever been, come across with any line of work in Trent Dilfer, who has invested 110% in anything he's doing. Great at this job return. on the return. Lipscomb making the difficult look easy. Here's Cheryl. He's already put it in the end zone a couple times. A little pop pass to him. Coach Dilfer to take his talent to the next level and see if he can build a college program the way he built this Lipscomb Academy program. And the message to his team was react how we built the program. And there's what they've done. There's another touchdown run for Lipscomb Academy. And they extend their lead. It's now 27. No. Here we go. There's Cheryl. Who gets pushed up for CPA. And then an injury knocked him out. There's a throw. Pass intercepted. Beasley. 
taking it the other way. 10, 5, looking for the pylon, dives in, and he's going to be ruled out of bounds at the 2. Pink Brown, the quarterback, in shotgun, looking to throw on third down and goal. Pass is caught. Guess who? Cheryl. Touchdown number three for Junior Cheryl, his second PA defense. And look, there's no NCAA rules for broadcasters, so I'll go ahead and say Hank Brown arrived on the Lipscomb Academy campus. There's a handoff. Nearly broke that one. But with it being on campus for three weeks, he nearly will play action here. He's running their offense, and they run it. Brown to Cheryl, back to the end zone. Touchdown, Lipscomb Academy. Well, pitch and catch. Junior Cheryl just gets right in the soft spot. Brown remains in the game, the senior quarterback throwing to the far sideline. That pass, a diving attempt made at the 45. Trent Dill coaches with a Super Bowl ring on that sideline. End around, Cheryl again. Contact, but it doesn't mean he's going down. There is a flag that flies in, multiple flags now. The physical mindset at the line of scrimmage for CPA in this game. They're still getting after it. The oh, trenches. yeah. Let's not make it be a distraction because it's still about you and it's on you to go play the way that he knows they could. And that's exactly what they've done here today in Chattanooga. Such an impressive performance from this lip. For instance, Brown to Patterson. That's how the game started. That's the play here that takes it inside the 10 yard line. Yeah, the only mystery now is if they're gonna punch it in to make it 49 to nothing. Because now they're in, gave them last minute instructions also before running back on the field. After the and they're throwing out. it. Yeah, to the end zone, pass incomplete. So now it's fourth down. Again, running clock. And we'll see if they go for it here on fourth down or if they're just going to let it time expire. Again, Dilfer's final game at Lipscomb Academy. Going with what got him in this program to back-to-back -to -back state champions. The championship stays with Lipscomb Academy. The Mustangs run it back. The unbeaten season finishes undefeated.